Okay, this is the attic ladder, excuse me, it is that, well it is attic ladder, but this is the attic inspection, call 911, Grampy's in the attic again. See these, I don't trust these attic ladders, these pull down ladders, see that V shaped right in there, that means the feet weren't cut right, it's not extending right, this is just, I have been reduced to producing safety videos real life experience at least we got some insulation on the ladder here okay i don't know that it's enough i don't think that it is you see these open holes the manufacturer left those holes there why do you think they left those holes there for any guess any guess maybe they wanted nails to go through those holes that go through this framing that holds this whole thing together you think the manufacturer might have wanted that i don't know why would you want it to what would you want it to stay up keep that safety video going and there's gonna be some other things I'm assuming it's not labeled we've got some open knockouts on this box how about that I'm assuming that's the attic light look there be light check that out okay I'm not liking what I'm seeing all right this is how you get to the water heater, really. You're supposed to have an unobstructed. Okay, this is the duct work. You think that's leaking? You think that's leaking? I do. I think that's leaking. All right. You think cloth tape is supposed to be on the duct? I don't. I don't think cloth tape is supposed to be on the duct. Glue, is it supposed to be that close to combustible materials? I don't think so. Is it supposed to be supported in the attic? I do. I think it's supposed to be supported in the attic. I think we've got some storage in here. You bet. Is that a bathroom vent fan? Is that venting to the exterior? No. No, I just don't think it is. Okay, we got some loose fill cellulose. About six inches. That doesn't sound like a lot, but cellulose has better properties. we got some bat insulation over the addition from the southeast bedroom and the insulation is turned upside down see the skin on the top side if any moisture gets in there it can't evaporate it holds the moisture next to your ceiling okay we've got OSB board over wooden lath and lots of debris see all that debris when they took the wood shingles off they just let it fall just let it fall combustible debris just laying in your attic this is just this is just a mess oh Grampy grunt. I don't know if I'm going to climb over this or not. So we're just going to stop the video. The purlins are all undersized, and we expected that. The fireplace chimney is in direct contact with wooden framing members, and that's pretty common. That's pretty common. Texas Structural uh, Texas Real Estate Commission says I can call that out as a deficiency. So I will. I'll make them happy every single wood chimney house in dallas is made the same way i'm just telling the truth there so there's something to keep you know so what do we learn we got uh we don't have insulation depth markers we our soffit vents do not have baffles we got debris in our insulation uh our bat insulation over the Southeast bedroom was installed upside down. No death markers, did I say that? Okay. That's the attic. Air conditioning. Air duct is on the ground. Air duct has more than half an inch sag in it. Air duct is leaking at the plenum. Air duct has cloth tape on it. The flue is not properly supported and too close to combustible materials. water heater in case I can't get over there it's not accessible tankless water heater because of this 